Come along with me as I transform my hallway into an eerie haunted space inspired by Disneyland's iconic ride, The Haunted Mansion. I'm going to kick things off with my main DIY project for this video. I do have a smaller one that we're going to do later, but it's really just an accent piece where this project defines the space. Last year, I purchased a Haunted Mansion tapestry on Amazon for about $10, and while I really liked it, I thought it would create a more striking effect if I separated it and displayed it in pieces on frames. And thus, this craft idea came to life. The first thing that I needed to do was pick up some 1x2 lumber, and I cut them into two 10-inch strips and two 38-inch strips per tapestry. Next, I went over the wood with a P220 sandpaper in an attempt to basically keep the wood from giving me splinters as I worked with it. Once all of my pieces were cut and sanded, it was time to attach them together and make our frames. I picked up these flat corner braces from Walmart and have them linked below, but you should be able to find them at your local hardware store. Now, I'm going to be using these to hold the corners of our frame together. I don't honestly know if this is the way I'm supposed to do it. I just came up with an idea and did my best to execute it. I prefer to begin by marking all of the hole locations and then using a drill bit on each spot to make it easier to insert the screws. I was kind of surprised by how easy this was to pull off. Now, I mean, it was a tedious project and it took a silly amount of time, but it was incredibly simple. OMG, I can't believe it worked. But let me show you the tapestry that we're going to be adding to these frames. I'm going to attach my tapestries using a stapler. I began at one end, positioning it where I wanted it and securing it in place with the staples. My adorable pink clamps were such a lifesaver in this project as they helped me to keep the fabric taut while I worked my way around with the stapler. So yeah, I have weak little hands, so I had to come back through with the hammers to help me push those staples back in firmly against the wood. They were in there, just not all the way. Once I had secured all of the edging, I came back around and stapled any excess fabric to the back of the frame. I did want to show you this on the ballerina picture as I had really kind of gotten the hang of it by then. But alas, my camera wasn't angled right to catch it and so I had to use the, some of the footage from one of my earlier ones. Say that I'm excited with how this turned out is such a dramatic understatement. I couldn't be more pleased. But that being said, next year, I think I could elevate them a little bit better. All of the sides are different um, from each side um, because of the way that this was printed. And so I think it'd be really cool if I blacked this out with some fabric paint or maybe brought in some iron on wood trim to just kind of give a uniform look between all of them. But I would love to know what you guys think of this project and what you guys think I should do for the sides. So let me know in the comments down below. With my Haunted Mansion portraits all finished up, it's time to head to the hallway. And we are going to start out by adding some spooky lighting to the top with some black cheesecloth over top to give it an eerie look. I'm starting out by pre-drilling holes and adding cup hooks about every foot around the top of the wall in the hall.
Then I ran my purple and green color change lights back and forth from each hook. It was a little short at the end and I had to stagger it, but the lights seemed to cover enough to give an eerie impression. I'm following up with a layer of black cheesecloth over top of the lights to draw away from the strings and add to the ambiance. I felt like there was a little too much swag in the cloth, so in random places I'm wrapping it around the lights above it to give it a little extra dimension. While I acknowledge that spider webs do add to the Halloween decor vibe, I feel like this space could still use a little bit of a cleaning up. So really quick, I'm going to mop everything down from the floors to the walls. And then I feel like we're going to have a fresh, clean space to get started. Finally time to bring in the rest of the decor and we're going to start with the Haunted Mansion portraits and some flickering candle sconces. On the back wall, I'm adding a mirror face height so you see your own reflection looking back at you as you exit the hall into the office. And the other spooky photos I'll be adding are holographic ones that from one point of view look like an old fashioned picture, but when looked at from other angles, they reveal the haunting photos below. Now it's time to add some spine chilling decor to the table and I'll be adding a candelabra, an additional haunted holograph, and I'll also be adding an easy DIY. This DIY is so easy, it doesn't really need a formal introduction, but I wanted to make sure to show you what I did because I just love the effect. This is a globe crystal ball thing that I picked up from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to fill it with some iridescent cloth that I already had from a previous project, as well as some twinkle lights. It's that easy. Once I put it all together, I'm going to set it on top of a candle holder to elevate the look, and the effect that I'm going for is to achieve a shimmering crystal ball pulsing with messages from the beyond, drawing you into the hallway. that we're going to add to this space is a curtain in between the living room and the beginning of the hallway. I feel like this delicate fabric is just going to give the impression of going into a completely different space when you walk through it and that is the vibe I'm going for because while I love my haunted hallway I'm actually ridiculously excited about it. The rest of the house is a little bit more witch's cottage vibe and I wanted it to really show the distinction. I am just utterly bewitched by this space. It turned out so much better than I expected. So come, follow me. Let me show you how it turned out.
This is going to be the end of today's video and I hope that it brought you tons of bewitching inspiration. I can't wait to hear what you guys think down below. Most importantly though, I hope that you have an absolutely spectacular day, my friends. See you soon.